Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life. In today's McDojo Breakdown, we're going to be talking about a martial arts instructor from Japan who thinks he can actually dodge bullets. Let's check out the video, then let's break it down. The man you just got done watching in that video goes by the name of Akira. What are you doing? That is not the guy at all. Different Akira. The Akira I'm talking about is this guy. The guy who was just in the video. Akira Hino, or also known as Hino Akira Sensei. And according to his website, he is not only well known as a master of Japanese Budo, but he's also around as a director slash instructor, a writer, a stage director, a lecturer, and a professional jazz drummer. Jazz flute. Uh. Uh. No, it's the wrong clip. Not jazz flute, it's jazz drumming. Observe. That's baby making music, that's what that is. God, I hope his martial arts is better than that drumming. Now, while his website doesn't have a lot of information about his actual curriculum, I did notice a lot of excerpts from a lot of the writings in the website that's really telling on the types of techniques that he actually does believe in. And don't worry, I'm going to show you them as well. Here's a couple of those excerpts right now. What do you actually imagine when you hear Budo or practicing Budo? Do any of these associations come to mind? Discipline, aesthetic training, sword, punching, throwing, becoming stronger, mental training, amazing skill, catching the sword with bare hands. Oh, don't worry, we're gonna definitely come back to that one. Kukinagi, also known as the air throw, self-defense, master, arts of gracious etiquette, kabuto, jujitsu, vitality, and old age. Do technical associations come to mind? Aki, tandon, ki, haro, kiai? You know it's gonna get good when the chi and the ki comes out. There are many techniques and skills involved in becoming a master, but being a master is more than the sum of these together. In general, a master uses all of these factors and creates a skill that is beyond the normal expectations of a regular practitioner performing them. He or she develops something called master skill or divine skill because it goes beyond what seems humanly possible. That's because it's not possible. You don't have some divine skill that other people cannot develop. And this kind of wording is exactly what people like him use to keep his students under thumb, making them feel like he has some kind of special natural power that they do not possess that they could never possess. That's kind of a part of the shtick of being a cult. If we were to ask ourselves at the beginning of training, if we would be able to obtain some of the capacities that a master is capable of, we would most definitely reply, of course not. You mean like the skill of catching swords with your bare hands? See, I told you I'd come back to it. You see, that's a skill that has been proven to be debunked. So you can't actually catch swords with your bare hands as a sword is swinging at you. Here, here's a little proof. It's a timer, and this will give me a millisecond resolution so I can dial in the delay exactly. Once again, the sword slips through our ninja's fingers. The hands came together at the perfect time with the most human strength we can muster. It still couldn't hold on to it. Now, as I kept scrolling through his website, I did notice that there was a section dedicated to nothing but his actual videos. Now, some of the videos are linked to his actual YouTube channel, and some are linked to outside sources in which he just collaborated on a video, but there's actually quite a few of them. I think they had like five or six on there that would lead you to different websites. I know what you're thinking. There's no way that this dude would put on his actual martial arts business website anything remotely crazy like that because that would probably deter people away from wanting to sign up. But unfortunately, you would be completely wrong, as was I. I was like, there's no way he put that garbage on his website to fool people. Fortunately, he did. Well, fortunate for us because now we kind of get poked fun at it. But I'll do it a little differently this time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up with some scenarios off the top of my head and see if any of his techniques can actually defeat the scenarios that I've come up with. Let's start off with a softball. 
All right, Mr. Hino Akira Sensei, can you defend against two guys grabbing you at the same time? Okay, okay, I see you used your wiggle technique. I got you, all right. Well, what if it's three guys and you have to kind of cheat your way out a little bit? Okay, I gotta step up my game here, all right. What if one of those three guys has a knife? I see you, I see you, I see you, Akira Sensei. All right, let's try this one then. Mr. Super Chi Master, what if it's five dudes and they all have bows pressed against your neck? Bet you don't have anything to say about that, do you? stand corrected. All right, pulling out the big guns. What if, Mr. Akira Sensei, you went to an island, a tropical island in the middle of nowhere. You decided that you were going to go hang out for a vacation. You were going to chill by yourself on this island. And all of a sudden, the indigenous people decided they needed to sacrifice you to the gods. So they hoist you up over their head and they're about to toss you into the volcano to finish the ritual sacrifice. Do you have anything for that? I bet you don't. Okay. I got it. Okay, Mr. Akira Sensei, I got one for you. One, there's no way you're gonna possibly have an answer for. Let's say, hypothetically, you're in your house and you're rubbing one out. You're happy as happy could be. You're there, you got your lotions, you got your porn hub on the big screen, and you're enjoying a good old solo session all by your lonesome. And then out of nowhere, a gang of dudes comes in, let's say three specifically, and they grab your arm forcing you into some, some weird triple Dutch rudder situation where now they have control of your arm and they're jerking it for you. But you're not comfortable with that. You did not give consent. So all of a sudden you decide you're going to cheat your way out of this. I bet there's no possible way in the history of scenarios that you could have a technique to defend against that. I thought I was positive that was going to be the one that would stump you. I just thought that I thought I, I'm dumb. I did not know that you had a technique for that. I'm oddly impressed that you've thought of that scenario, that 100% likely scenario that could possibly happen to any of us. All right. Last try. Last technique. I gotta, I gotta know if you have an answer for this. There is absolutely no way Akira Sensei will have an answer for this one. It is impossible for Akira Sensei to have thought this through because there is no way that this would ever happen to anybody. So here's the scenario. You're walking to your car from the bar, minding your own business, and all of a sudden, various numbers of people pop out at you to attack you. Sometimes it's two people, sometimes it's three people, but we don't get to decide how many people attack us at one time when it does happen. So I'm just gonna throw it out there broadly. As these people are attacking you though, here's the caveat to the situation. Not only are they attacking you, but they're also in the middle of a gangbang. And it's all dudes, and they're all connected back to front like Lego pieces. But during the scenario, you have decided that you don't wanna hurt anyone in the front. You only want to make an example out of the guy in the very back. And you hope that by hitting the guy in the front, you can send your chi all the way to the back guy 
hitting him so hard it knocks him out of this Lego connection thing they got going on there. And then the rest are so scared of what you've done to the guy in the back that they decide they're no longer going to fight you. There is no possible way that you have an answer for that, do you? Okay, I admit, I admit it. The guy's good. He's thought of everything. He's thought of every possible scenario that he could cheat his way out of. I admit defeat on that. Time to give this guy a Dillman, all right? He's getting five Dillmans today, all right? Based on our scale of Dillmans, if you don't know, we do a scale of one to five Dillmans. One being bullshito, but not nearly as bad as five. Five usually means some cheese involved, and chi was definitely involved in this. The guy thinks he can dodge bullets. <laughs> the guy is talking about how he has divine power. Um, you got to remember, most of the time when people write this crap on their websites, they're the one who tell people to write it. So he believes in some kind of divine, holy power that he can use to call himself a master. And that's really weird. This is the part of the video where I try to figure out if you actually watch the entire video. And yes, it shows like a sore thumb if you did or you did not because I ask a question at the end of all my videos. In today's question, I want you to add this to your comments in the comment sections below. My birthday is coming up April 12th, and what I'd like to know is, what do you think I should do for my birthday? Write that in the comment sections below whenever you leave your answer or your questions or your comments for today's video. With that said, thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and all that other crap people online tell you to do. Keep the martial arts legit.